What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Saunders Lifestyle. Today's another day in the UK. So, uh, as you guys can see, I'm in the garage. Means I'm bringing another DIY to the channel today uh, to continue doing this uh, work on the bumper on the XJ40. So, as you guys can see behind me, I got the XJ40 sitting right here. And as you guys can see, the color change. Whoa, that thing is going crazy, looking like a rainbow. Yeah, that's a wrap. So, uh, now nah, I'm mess just messing with you, messing with you guys. So. Uh, yeah, today, man, like I said, I'm going to uh, do a DIY for you guys. Continue to do this bumper on the Jag. I need to get this thing done. I need to get this vehicle out the garage. It's been sitting in the garage too long, and I'm ready to drive it. So um, I know the summer, the summer, I said the summer, the winter is coming here a little too fast for us. Uh, and uh, obviously, I will not be driving this car once they start throwing salt on the ground. So with that said, man, I need to get this thing done quick fast in a hurry to get this thing on the road so if you just tuning in man my channel is all about vehicles diys living the life to your fullest spending time with the family and just all kinds of things like that so if you haven't go ahead and smash that subscribe button go ahead and give me a like comment share turn on all post notifications for any future videos and don't forget to turn on the bell hit that thing real quick so uh yeah man let me go ahead and move these cars around get this jack up out the garage uh and let me go ahead and get started on this so stay tuned in stay locked in So I uh, pulled the car up out the garage. As you guys can see, it's still leaning to the uh, right. Uh, it's because I got the airbag sitting right here that I need to replace it with. So it's there, I got it. I just need to go ahead and knock it out and get it done. Uh, but one thing at a time. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out this area on the bumper. So as you guys can see, I, um, I put a mesh screening on here. So obviously it's not on here with tape. I just had it on here to hold it like that. So remove this tape. What I end up doing is I end up putting epoxy here and here to hold it down. As you can see, it's on there. It's a screen mesh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just fill it over with fiberglass resin uh, to create an uh, inner piece of the uh, fender. Because what I did was I ended up chopping that off uh, when I put the 24s on there to make sure that the 24s could fit. But obviously now I went back to 22, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fix that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna put you guys on the head pro. That way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, and uh, that way you guys can follow me along. Let's go ahead and get going. So here I got right here is the Isopon P40. Uh, it's a body filler uh, for holes. But what I'm gonna do is because it has some fiberglass in there, instead of laying a whole um, fiberglass cloth here and then pouring resin over it, I'm gonna try to do it with this just to kind of get a, get away with the mess that uh, that creates when you use that resin and stuff like that. So we'll see how that turns out. I think it's gonna turn out all right, especially once I put this on and then I come back with it with the uh, Isopon body filler, which is the uh, Bondo. So uh, let me go ahead and get this mixed up for you guys so I can go ahead and throw this on. So you have your uh, hardener right here. Obviously my spread, it's my spreader, but I have these metal spreaders, so toss this in the trash, man. Get this thing opened. Let me find my flat tip screwdriver. Nope, that's not it. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, the card that came with it. But uh, man, it's pretty strong. But you guys can see the uh, fiberglass in this. So 
gonna set this up here for now. All right, so got me a little board right here. I'm gonna put a good amount on here because I need to fill, like I said, the, those screens. So try to dig as much as I can out. Well, let's go ahead because it's gonna be stuck to it. So. so. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one side at a time just to make sure I fill it properly. I don't wanna rush this at all, so. I bought a big can because of this reason. Let me get a little bit more. All right, that should be enough. All right, put this here. I'm gonna throw this top back on here. All right. So I got the hardener, I got the hardener right here. But typically I'll just take it and go from uh, half of the filler and then come back right this way. So I'm putting a lot because it is pretty thick and I want to make sure it dries fast. I'm not trying to sit here all day messing with this. I know you guys are probably like, man, he's putting a lot of hardener on there. Yes, I am. All right. All right, so I'm gonna take this, mix it in. Make sure that it's all the same color so that means that it is blended well because obviously you guys can still see the pink the hardener so continue to mix it until it's all one color all right i think it should be good all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start applying this on here we do little by little Looks a little messy right now, but you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to do. Sure, you guys see the vision. Like I said, man, I'll be coming, I'll be crafting some stuff, don't I? So this is probably not the real way to do it, but I guarantee it's gonna work like I want it to. Because it seems like it is already. So once this hardens up, um it's gonna look better. It's not gonna look like the bumper was chopped. This might take some time to set up just because it's a lot of material. But we'll be all right. Got the uh, Bondo right here. Um, I use the ISO Pond P.38. So I got my hardener on there and I got my Bondo. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this up. Oh. So 
to mix this up to his one consistent color. And yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna build up this uh, this area right here. Um, that way, it looks identical to that side. So. Looks pretty good to me. Go ahead and slide that some of that on there. Just laying like a little base part right here. That way it has something to stick to. All right, then I'll start building it up from there. While that's doing that piece right here, let me go fill some of this in. Just add some leftover. Filling in all the small little cracks. And the other part I want to fill was this part right here, the where the holes were at for the um, washer fluid. Up just enough bondo for this too, which is good. As you guys can see, the body line's right here, and it goes all the way across. But what I'm end up doing is just uh, sanding it down to where I create that body line that I want it uh, that comes off of this rounded edge. Um, if you look at it, uh, well, actually, let me move the camera real quick. If you look at it this body line goes right here and as you guys can see i created it myself here and now what i'll do is once i sand it i'll sand it around it and then this edge right here to, to to line up with this body line here so there you have it let's go ahead and let this cure up real quick and we'll get back to it you guys can see i got the uh, fiberglass resin here i recreated another part of the fender that goes in because what happened was, uh, like I said, I chopped it off uh, because I wanted to make sure that the 24s didn't touch that part. Um, but now with the 22s, it looks crazy looking with that piece missing. It almost looks like the uh, bumper was chopped pretty much. So trying to recreate that uh, as well as I put some Bondo here uh, to fill in some of the, it was a crack, a big crack here. 2,000 years later. All right, guys, so uh, got it all set up out here. Uh, I'm gonna start sanding this down. It's a little loud, the compressor's going. Uh, but if you guys can check it out, it's dry now. Um, you can kind of see what I was trying to make. So a little flange goes back in here. All right, so I got it on this side and I got it on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding that down. I got 180 grit sandpaper I'm gonna use right here. And uh, I got my orbital uh, sand sander. All right, and I got my compressor. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna put you guys on the head pro. That way you guys can check out what I'm doing. Let's get it. Let's go.
lessons learned on this because like i said this is all new for me messing with this fiberglass stuff so i put a little bit too much more here uh, so as you guys can see it's already raised right here but i need to get this out so i'm gonna continue with the orbital but if that's not gonna work uh, if it feel like it's taking too long i'm gonna go ahead and get my uh my uh, disc sander uh my electric disc sander and then i'm just gonna knock this down um that way i can get it with the orbital so let me see how much more i need to work this out and if it doesn't work that's why i'll go ahead and tra tra transition over to as you can see i'm knocking these down already so i kind of molded this what i needed but i was going to use the rest of the sandpaper on here to knock down the, the flatter surfaces before i swap it out So uh, as you guys can see, it's starting to come around how I want it to be. It's starting to smooth out. So what I'm going to do is, uh, so I did more than I need here. I'm going to probably take off about maybe an inch and a half. I'm just going to come down with a line here just to make it look like it came like that. So, so this is the semi almost done. And then this obviously hasn't been worked yet at all. So as you guys can see what I'm trying to do here. Again, just trying to make it look like it's supposed to look. So, um, these holes have been filled and sand perfectly. Filled and sand perfectly. So, like I said, I'm just working this right now to make it look good. So, uh, what I'm end up doing is I'm gonna draw that line here. I'm gonna use my cutoff wheel, and I'm gonna just cut that piece off. Um, and then well, we should be good though. Good from there, and then I'll go ahead and finish working that out. All right, I'm just gonna use this, this cardboard right here to make my line. All right, so I'm gonna cut all this off right here and then just smooth this all out like I wanted to be. So let's go ahead and get started. As you guys can see got exactly how i wanted it to be so pull this off here I'm not too concerned about the inside of this uh, but what i'm gonna do now is just gonna go ahead and uh start sanding this down how i want and then uh fill it in with some uh There. So fill it in how I want with some Bondo, man. So let's go ahead and get it going. A few moments later. All right, guys. So um, got it all done like I wanted to, but come to find out, I don't have enough wrap um, to finish up the bumper, man. So I might just end up having to paint the car, man. So I think I'm gonna probably end up doing that just to make it easier on myself. 
Um, as you guys can see right here, got the bumper done, completed. Um, so what I ended up doing, um, because I was going to wrap it, is I ended up painting the bottom right here black. Um, inside the insert right here black. And then uh, as well, uh, inside here I did black. So, um, but and the reason why I did that, because I was going to vinyl wrap around everything else. And just had these inserts, because there's a grill piece that goes here. And then on top of that, <coughs> um, the invention in here would be too hard to put the wrap in. So I did that before, um, just to kind of give it like a, a contrast color uh, to break up the uh, the vinyl wrap. So it, obviously it looks better once it's on there. Um, so with that said, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, I'm not going to wrap it. I'm going to just probably end up spraying it. So uh, I definitely got my gun right here. I got to get some, some new, uh, I got to get a new cup though for it. So this is just some raggedy cup I put on top of it. Um, so I got this Sada NR2000 HVLP. Um, and then this is a cup I got from uh, Harbor Freight. So I definitely have the uh, piece that goes on there with the PPS cups. Um, so that's what I'm going to end up getting. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably start doing that. So you guys got more videos coming with this uh, Jaguar right here. Um, I really wanted to keep it wrapped. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen because I don't want to spend money on shipping more wrap, wrap over here um, for Metro Styling. Excuse me. Uh, just probably easier anyways to paint it so so yeah i'm gonna uh, get this bumper to perfection with some high build primer on it sand it down again make sure it's really good to go um but yeah let me show you guys what i really did though and the reason why i was working on it so so long so i end up feeling this right here as you guys can see there's fiberglass right here um that was pretty much gone so i fixed that there um again I, Again, uh, what I end up doing is I fill this hole that was right here. That body line is right here, as you guys can see. I made it perfect, just like the other side. So as you look at this right here, same thing. All right? So, uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. It's been a long day messing with this bumper. Um, as I told you guys, man, stay tuned in, stay locked in with this XJ40. Because this thing right here is about to be changed. It's going to have a different look. It's gonna look totally different. It's gonna look good. I'm gonna bring it out this summer, man. Well, actually, probably this spring. So, uh, more videos to come, man. I'm gonna bring you guys episodes like I did the Camaro. Uh, so, stay tuned in. If you haven't, go ahead and smash that button. Go ahead and give me a like, comment, share. Turn on all post notifications for any future videos. Other than that, Sonos Lifestyle, and I'm out.